Do you know why Ryan Gosling is so... Do so you hot? know why Ryan Gosling is so hot? I'll tell you exactly why. Because he is... Like, he's he's not a pretty boy. He's, like... Not... He's not, like, super pretty looking. But he has, like... A pres and like a really like suave presence, and then he's like manly. But then, like, yeah, when you see his face, he's like soft. Yeah, and like it's just like really sweet, and it's like it's like a sweet manly guy that you just like you can really like you want to do you want to like fuck him, but then it's like you want to like have him you want to like cuddle with him on the couch because he's like so cute, and on top of all that, he's a good actor, so it's like. You're fuckable, and you've got talent. It's, like, so rare these days. It just makes them even more hot. You're really making me want to watch, like, a bunch of Ryan I Gosling I know. Movies. I'm just imagining it. Like, I remember when I first saw Drive. That was one of the greatest experiences of my life. Hands down, my favorite performance of all time. And I, I really mean that. Because I just relate so much with that character. The guy is such a... At that time, especially, like when I saw that movie, for many years, I just felt like an emotionally empty guy who had a lot of anger hidden in him. And I never expressed myself. Mm -hmm. But a girl occasionally could actually bring out something inside of me. Mm -hmm. And I, I found myself wanting to become a protector of them. So it was like watching an, an L.A. fantasy come to life. And what's so cool about Ryan Gosling is he's a man. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a man. He's not He's not a pretty boy like I thought he was I before. Like As the only movie I saw of him before so Drive no. was was The Notebook. But I don't even think he's like really a pretty boy in The no Notebook though. And even in Remember the Titans, that was my favorite performance of him. Do you remember <laughs> Remember the Titans? Yes, I remember. If you close movie. your eyes, you might just get a, a glimpse. I remember what he looks into like. Into what he who he is in Remember the Titans. Yes. Yeah. He looked like he looked a lot more boyish then. Oh, yeah, yeah, he, like he did. He looked like, you know, like, he wasn't super manly, you know what I mean? I think after the notebook, he started getting, like, more manly. Yeah, and it didn't seem like he forced it. You know, like, DiCaprio seemed like people were like, dude, DiCaprio's a queer. And DiCaprio was like, oh, fuck you guys. I'm going to do a whole bunch of movies yeah. that make me look straight and, like, a badass. Yeah. I mean, totally pulled it off. I think he's one of the coolest dudes yeah, in the world now. Yeah, he is. I still don't think he's very attractive. I'm not, like... Oh, Leo. But I don't I don't think he's like You see Ryan Gosling never seems to he never lost that like sincerity, you see, know. See, I, I don't think he's he's ever he's ever been a pretty boy because if you look like if you look like at his face compared to like the pretty boys, mm -hmm. you know, like I don't know. Who's a pretty boy? Justin Timberlake. Yeah, Justin Timberlake, okay. I'd say, is a pretty he's boy. Very, he's very becoming good. a man, though. Like, yeah, he, no, he, he Every is. time he does a good movie, he becomes more yeah. of a man. Uh, I'm just saying, like, he's been known as a pretty boy. But, like, their faces are more symmetrical. Mm -hmm. And they, they tend to, like, they're... Whereas, like, with Ryan Gosling, like, technically speaking, he has, like, his nose isn't perfectly straight. He's kind of, it's, like, kind of crooked. His eyes are close set, which is just, a, you know, it's normal, but usually, like... The most beautiful people in the world have the most symmetrical faces. And so he has, I guess, little, like, imperfections. But at the same time, he's, like, really attractive. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's what I like about him because he's, like, so imperfectly perfect. The he guys, seems more real. The guy just always seems so comfortable with himself. He seems like this dude that just truly is chill with who he yeah. is. Like, he seems he, like he really accepts himself. Exactly. And that's something that's kind of admirable. Like, you see how he just walks and expresses himself. It's like he doesn't give a shit. Yeah. You know? He seems he's, so damn relaxed. Like I said, he's suave. He's just, like, cool. I think the average person has so much tension in their shoulders. That dude looks like he gets a massage every other hour. Yeah. And he's not a media whore, too. Yeah, that's another thing I love about the guy, too. And, and what's cool, too, is, you know, like, he's not just a badass in all these movies and stuff. If you watch interviews with him, you love him even more. Yeah. He's like, he's got this certain kind of sarcasm about him that makes him that much cooler. And you can feel a certain love that he has for 
just wanting to be him and do what yeah. he wants to do, you know, it's, it's really, it's Very a really, comfortable in his own skin. it's really cool of how he like doesn't give a shit, but it doesn't seem like he has a front about uh-huh. it. Uh-huh. He's not like, you know, like, I don't give a fuck. He's not- the other thing I love about him is he seems like he can do like any type of role yet. It's, it seems real. It doesn't seem like he's having to go all out to, to, to tr- fully change the whole character. It seems like that person already existed within him. Mm-hmm. I feel like he does, like... He is just being when he's in these perf- performances. He's, he's like, so in the moment. It's amazing. Yeah. And you know what? He's, like, so believable as everything he does. I don't know if that's exactly what you said. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but, like, he can play, like, various roles. Do you know what I mean? Like, I saw the trailer for that new movie where he's all, like, tatted up. And, like... Oh, he looks so cool in that looks, movie. Like, he looks like he does a really good job. Like, I'm already thinking, like, damn, he's gonna rock. And then you see the trailer for Gangster Squad, and you're like, what a badass. And then you're like, but he's so good as this character in Gangster Squad, too. And they're completely different characters. I feel like he's come a long way since the notebook. You know what Drive really showed? That you could be a badass with emotions. He, yeah. Because this guy is like, obviously really good looking. I, I think, uh, I don't even mean that in a homo. You know what? I do mean it in a homosexual way. I think. I he think, has a nice cock? Yeah, I do too. I think if you, you're a man and you don't think Ryan Gosling is good looking, something's wrong with you. Yeah, you can't deny his looks. And can I just say, in what was that movie that we saw him with Emma Stone? What was that movie called? It wasn't Love Actually. Crazy Stupid Love. Crazy Stupid Love. Okay, in Crazy Stupid Love, you see his V muscle. Holy shit, that movie. Oh, do you see his lat? He's his so little, hot. His lat was perfect. Uh, his, oh my, my god. god. His lat so or lats, it's whatever. His back. His body was just like banging, like. Oh god damn! That it's because I remember I remember body. watching Drive and going, "This guy got so much more buff than I remembered him being in the Notebook," and and then I you see him with his shirt off in Crazy Stupid Love, and you're like, "Fuck!" There, there's something about this guy that I don't. I'm totally straight. I know this about myself, but there's something about him. That makes me say stuff like, wow, that guy is sexy. <laughs> like, the weirdest shit comes out of my well, mouth looking, talking about okay. him. You gotta give them the credit that they're good looking. Like, I'm not lesbian in the least, but I think Megan Fox is, she's, like, gorgeous. She's sexy, gorgeous, everything. You know, you gotta give credit where credit's due. And just, Ryan Gosling is a fine piece of man. But it's not just his looks and stuff that make him appealing. It's his, it's, it's his charm. His charm. His charm. Energy. His energy. It is his talent too. He's a super talented guy. Like when you watch, um, and he seems smart too. Yeah, but I want to finish my sorry, point on sorry. this one. <laughs> he seems. There's this movie. Now I'm almost forgetting. Wait, no, I just remembered. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to say who did that. But anyway, Ryan Gosling. Uh, if you watch... Dang, I'm getting all his movie titles wrong. I, I keep confusing What's them with other movies. About? It's the one where he's a drug addict and he's a, t- he's a high school teacher. Half Nelson. I've never seen that. Okay, well, he's, he's so good in it. He got an Oscar nomination for it. He's like crazy good in it. What yeah, are you it's, he, he makes his he makes such relatable performances. It's so authentic. Yeah. You could always feel something like that's what's great about him in Drive. Like he doesn't have that much to say, but you can feel so much without him having to say much. Yeah. Definitely. You know, you don't you don't need any backstory. Ryan Gosling is just feeling so much of whatever he's feeling, and we're 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 feeling something based off of that. Yeah. And he's so good at it. It's a powerful emotion. I feel like he's really relatable. Like, he reaches your soul. Yes, that's the key word. Soul, man. Ryan Gosling reaches your soul. When are they going to give him a freaking Oscar? He totally deserves an Oscar. When's he going to release a porno? Oh, yeah, I would totally watch that. 
I would buy that on DVD. If him and Emma Stone did a porno, that would be perfect. No, it wouldn't. I don't think she's attractive. I think she looks like a bug. You do know we're talking about Emma Stone. Yeah. I think majority of the time she looks like a bug. I think I think she's pretty sometimes. But for the most part, she her eyes just remind me of like someone from Bugs Life. You're crazy. Do you have any idea what Ryan Gosling would say to you if he yeah, heard you say that? Ryan Gosling would probably slap you, and I would go, good for you, Ryan Gosling. Slap me with his cock. Mm. I've never seen you this perverted before. That's what Ryan Gosling does to me. 